How's it going guys? Chronic Rush here and welcome back to a brand new episode of my FIFA 15 Fastest Squad series. But basically, I build a squad from all the major European leagues in FIFA 15 and uh, it's got featuring all the fastest players in that league. I've already done the fastest Barclays Premier League squad, so go and check that out. And I've also done a whole series on the strongest players in those major European leagues, being the BPL, the Bundesliga, the Liga BVA, the Liga Un, as well as the Serie A. Showing you guys the squad of all those players and then going out and play a game live com, showing you guys the highlights and seeing how um, important that, say, stat is in terms of in FIFA. We've already done the strongest, which actually seemed to be quite good. There's quite a few interesting games, so go and check that out. And now we're moving on to, is speed in FIFA 15 important? Many people believe it is. And um, speed comes with benefits, obviously, and it also comes with negatives. Um, so, um, guys, i show you the teams, then we go and play a game and see how well the teams actually go and play. Guys, if you like the idea, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. And let's get straight into the fastest Bundesliga team in FIFA 15. So we'll start off with the goalkeeper. And goalkeepers are always it's kind of a weird play to put into a team in terms of speed um, because I do it on the speed attribute, should I say, on their card. Uh, we have this player here, Zentner, bronze keeper, doesn't look too good, and he's got 65 speed, which isn't actually too bad for a goalkeeper, but I'm not too sure if their speed is actual just dead on sprint speed or it's just in speed and how quickly they can move um, from one side of the goal to the other. Uh, but um, I'm going to do that consistently for all the squads, and therefore the speed on a goalkeeper is going to be the main stat we put for the keeper in goal. Moving on to the right back, we have this silver player here, Dijkmeier or Dijkmeier, whatever you want to call it. I think the German pronunciation is Dijkmeier, but he is a fantastic right back. 90 pace on this guy, and um, he is a fantastic card. Been a very, very good card in all of the FIFAs previously, and um, is still a fantastic player to have. And people use him a lot just because he's a very, very rapid right back, and there isn't too many good full backs in FIFA in terms of the Bundesliga. Moving on to the centre-backs here, the first one here is going to be this player here who isn't actually one of the fastest centre-backs, should I say, in terms of their pace stat on their card. But when I was looking at his card, he had 85 sprint speed. I thought, I have to put that in. Um, is this player here, Jerome Boateng, who's been improving all the years vastly. Um, but uh, he's got 77 pace on his card. Then I went and checked out his card and he had 85 sprint speed on him. And I thought... You can't just ignore sprint speed because sprint speed obviously um, is in terms of pace as well. And uh, compared to the other centre-back he has, he has a higher sprint speed and that is one of the fastest centre-backs in the Bundesliga. So I thought I had to go and put Boateng in there just due to his high sprint speed. 77 pace though is still no slouch. Moving on to the other centre-back, we have this player here, Rudiger. Um, silver non-rare player, 74 rated card and uh, he's got 80 pace. I believe he's one of the fastest centre-backs in the Bundesliga in terms of their pace stat card. And uh, for around 5k, looks like a very, very solid centre back. Moving on to the left back, we have this player here, Alaba, and um, he's a fantastic card in FIFA. Um, fastest left back uh, in the Bundesliga with 86 pace, which isn't too fast compared to some of the other left backs we've seen in other leagues. Um, but um, he's got very, very good agility and acceleration and will feel very, very rapid in game. Moving on to the um, winger, shall I say, the right mid. We obviously have this man, main, main man here. I believe one of the fastest players in the squad. Um, Abamyang coming in with 95 speed. Um, this guy is an absolute nightmare whenever I play against him. He has an inform card up front as well, um, which is have even more sp It's ridiculous. Like, he is so, so good in terms of speed and... Um, Quite a tall player as well, six foot two with that much speed is quite handy for him, and it should be a fantastic addition in the right mid position. Moving on to the centre mid, this is where obviously the pace kind of drops down in terms of their overall pace. Uh, the first player here is going to be this player here, Mikatelian. And I actually got all these players in the cam spot. Um, I didn't want to pay for them in the centre mid spot because they're too expensive. Um, we have Mkhitaryan here, and the chemistry won't be too different, but um, he's got 80, 86 speed, sorry, which is quite good for a cam. I believe he's the fastest cam midfielder, should I say, in the Bundesliga. And uh, he's going to be paired up with this player here, um, another centre attacking mid, Durich, I think it is. And um, I believe he's the second fastest with 81 pace. Moving on to the left mid, we have this player here. Or Lowy, I think it is. I'm not too sure. Plays for Paderborn in the Bundesliga, obviously, and has 92 pace. Um, I believe Marco Royce is probably quite up there in terms of pace as well. There's quite a few fast left mids, um, but I decided to go for Alawi, and um, he looks like he's going to be a pacey motherfucker down that left wing. Moving on to the strikers here, we got um. There's not too this squad compared to some of the other squads um, in terms of their overall pace isn't too high, uh, but they all look fantastic cards. Uh, moving on to the strikers here, the first one here is going to be this player here, Adrian Ramos. 
Um, the uh, recently bought up striker from Dortmund, and uh, he's got 86 pace, which I believe is one of the, I think it's the second fastest striker in terms of the Bundesliga, which 86 pace isn't too good in terms of some of the strikers you can get on FIFA 15. Um, but um, he's going to be paired up with this bronze strike here, um, and I believe, he, I'm, I need to check this, I'm not too sure if he is actually Australian or New Zealand, he's Australian, and uh, he's called Yukalas. Gay, I'm not too sure how you pronounce that name at all, but he has 91 pace. I believe he's the fastest striker in the Bundesliga, and um, I'm not too sure how well he's going to perform. He's got the pace, obviously. Pace on bronze cards is always quite nice, um, but we just have to wait and see. So, guys, that is the fastest Bundesliga team in FIFA 15. There are some recognized faces there, faces you probably come up against and think, oh, my God, this is ridiculous. And then there's some cards that you may have not seen as well, um, and uh, you may think they're hidden gems or something like that. But guys, that is the fastest Bundesliga team in FIFA 15. That is the squad builder part of the video, so make sure you stay tuned right towards the end, where you go out and play a squad, show you the highlights, and see how it does, guys. So it's time for the live com, and I'll speak to you in a bit. So guys, it's time to move into a game with this fastest Bundesliga squad, and I'm not too sure how it's going to play. It's got some players I know that are very, very good. Aubameyang, Ramos up top. Um, you've got uh, Mkhitaryan, that's a very, very good player. Boateng, the defence looks absolutely solid. Goalkeeper, I've got a bronze player in goal. That could be an issue. Then I've got some other players which I'm, I haven't used, and I'm not too sure how they're going to play, such as the bronze striker, the silver left mid, and Durich, I think, is the centre attacker mid we have in the middle with 81 pace. And we come up against a um, BPL type. I think it's set it out, BPL toss squad. Um, so let's get straight into this game, and hopefully we can pick up a goal and uh, see how the team actually plays. No, he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Ooh. There's his first shot, shall I say. First shot of the game, I think that was. And um, puts it over. Get a bit lucky there. Keep going. Oh, here we go. A Bamiang. Blazing plus Kishi. Cuts inside. Hit that with his left foot. Ooh, off the keeper. No, he's through. He's through. He's not going to miss this one. Oh, 1-0 one down. There we go. 35th minute, we've both been up at each other's ends, and uh, he looked, to be fair, he looks like the most promising. Um, eventually, I knew one ball was going to be able to fall through to my keeper, and um, that's pretty annoying to concede, but uh, we need to get bounced back straight from that, and uh, see if we can go and pick up a goal straight away. Oh, nice roulette. Let's get it. Where is everyone? Come on. Oh, he's still going. There we go. What a goal there. I believe that was a bronze striker up top. He just ran through. There seemed to be no options at all. Used his strength. I thought I'd lost the ball when I tried to do that run across the players. And he just absolutely unleashed it into the back of the net. That's a pretty good goal there. And um, he's actually a pretty good striker. He's actually got a lot more strength than I thought he had. He shrugged off a couple of players in that goal. And uh, there we go. 1-1, 38th minute straight after he scored a goal. And um, hopefully we can go and pick another one up. I've, I'm getting used to the squad now a bit more. And look, there you go. Shrugs off that player. Finds some space and absolutely wallops that into the back of the net. 1-1. Let's keep on going and see if we can pick up another one. Can we find a run? Oh, look at that for a through ball. He's through. 92 pace. Steaming down. What is that? He just fell over the ball. Come on. What is that? Break with Aubameyang. Use the pace down that right-hand side. He's gone round Lam. Gone round Kalishi. Look at that. That's naughty pace. Lam, see you later, mate. Cut inside. Oh, there we go. Oh, finish that. No. How have we not finished that? Come on. Okay, guys, so that is half time. 1 1 finish, and uh, we suddenly made it 2 1 right towards the end. I really should have unleashed the shot with a Bamiang, not keep on running. Uh, but um, as you can see there, pretty even game in terms of shots and stuff like that. We just need to keep going. I know that goal is there for us and uh, we just need to try and play the over top ball to be fair a lot more um, to see if that will work a bit better. But guys, let's keep on going and see if we can pick up the lead. No, he's found a through ball. Oh, keeper, bronze keeper, get up. Oh, here we go. Oh, why did he not keep on running? Oh, he's still going. We hit this. Oh, what a save from his keeper. Oh, good tackle, good tackle, good pass as well. Ramos on the edge of the line, we found a lovely ball into him. Lovely touch as well. Here we go, this is the goal. Oh, are you serious? How have you put that over? That really should have made that 2-1. I thought we had made it 2-1 there. Down the wing, found a lovely ball. Again, keep going, keep going, you've used your pace. You've got into the box, on the head. Edda, how have you missed that again, Ramos? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ramos, come on. Ramos! Let's go! 
89th minute, fantastic work from the injured bronze striker we had there, picking up the assist towards the end of the game, finding a lovely ball into Ramos, and I thought I took too long, um, but we actually just powered it through the keeper. 2-1, 90th minute, and um, oh, I'm pretty happy about that. The amount of chances I've had with Ramos, he eventually puts one into the back of the net, making it 2-1. Come on, boys, let's go. Let's go and see this game out and hopefully get the 2-1 victory towards the end. Oh, we're on attack again in an extra added time. Here we go. Get into the box. Get into the box, everyone. This could be a bit risky play. But he's come off the woodwork. I cannot believe that. That would have seen the game out. But I believe... Oh, I thought that was going to be the last touch. Came off the woodwork from Ramos's head. I think that's it, boys. 2-1 victory there. And um, I'm pretty happy about that, especially picking up in the 90th minute. We probably should have picked up a couple more goals. As you can see, we hit the woodwork as well for Ramos header towards the end of the game. And um, I'm surprised the guy didn't take advantage of the fact that, um, I, A, I had no defensive midfielders at all. I was so open in the middle, it's ridiculous. And secondly, my keeper was terrible. Um, yeah, he had a number of chances where we had to do was make sure he just shot fine, decent finishing, and he... Just didn't take the opportunity at all. Um, but I'm actually impressed with that bronze striker we had up top. Did the job there. Picked up a goal and an assist. And um, did a great job up top. As you can see there, possession fairly even. Doubled him up on shots on target. And I'm pretty happy about that 2-1 victory against Casa United. With the fastest Bundesliga squad on FIFA 15. It actually performed quite well in terms of... I was expecting a lot worse due to the fact that I had no defensive midfielders, but the defence was absolutely rock solid. I recommend anyone from the defence at all. Keeper, you can get better keepers, guys, for around this guy price in the Bundesliga. Go for that. Um, Aubameyang on the right was fine. You can get the striker in form version if you've got the coins. Left mid, he did the job out there, 92 pace. Obviously, again, there's various other cards that would be a better player to have, such as Sun from, I think it's by Leverkusen. He had a fantastic game. I've used him in other squad builders, and he would be a very, very good choice to have in that left mid spot. And he's still got quite a bit of pace on him. Uh, the Cam's probably find a more defensive type player. Um, I just felt that Mkhitaryan and Durric still did a lot of defensive work. They made a number of good tackles in the middle, uh, but I would just swap up one of them just so I'll probably keep Mkhitaryan, swap out the other one just for a more defensive player. And the strikers didn't actually work too bad. I was, I was, I was expecting a lot worse, uh, but the bronze striker was very, very good. Good physical player to have up top. Um, had a lot of speed as well. Uh, created a goal and got the um, got a goal for himself. And Ramos had there a number of chances that he should have put away. Uh, came off the woodwork a couple of times, I think, as well. And eventually finished one in the 90th minute. But guys, that is the fastest Bundesliga squad in FIFA 15. And we picked up another win for the fastest series, I do believe. Pretty happy about that one. Straightforward. Well, I wouldn't say straightforward win. Um, it was a very, very hard game actually to play. He was quite a good opponent. Uh, but that's the fastest Bundesliga squad, guys. If you like this series, make sure you click that like button. Also, if you're brand new here, make sure you subscribe. And any feedback in the comments will be much appreciated, guys. This has been Crush. Till next time. Adios.